family of a four-year-old run over and killed outside a daycare is demanding to know how something like this could happen. Anthony Kraft's family says their child was picked up by a stranger, and they want to know why that happened. Late breaking this afternoon, this case now goes before a grand jury. Channel 2's Sion Rhodes is joining us now with the family's growing outrage. Sion? And Bill, this daycare boarded up. It is closed until further notice. And all day long, people have been coming here, dropping off mementos in honor of Anthony Kraft as his family struggles to come to terms with his death. Yeah, that was my little Spider-Man. James Howard is holding on to the memories of his stepson, Anthony, and his favorite superhero. I just got him these socks, and I still ain't get him to wear them yet. Howard married Anthony's mom last Saturday. This past year, I've grown to really, really build a strong bond with him. The couple is expecting a little boy in two weeks. Anthony was, he couldn't wait. According to him, it was his little brother, it was his baby. Now, as his wife prepares to give birth to another son, she is saying goodbye to her second born. Yes, it's really hard on my daughter. His family says the daycare was supposed to take Anthony to his pre-K program at Tice Elementary School. Instead, investigators say this 81-year-old woman picked up Anthony along with her grandson. Surveillance video shows that woman falling from the vehicle after Anthony was struck by her SUV, which then crashed into the daycare center. And I don't know why they were thinking, why would they let my grandbaby go with someone else that I don't even must know. Wednesday afternoon, someone showed up at the center and went inside, but would not answer questions. Now, we know that the sheriff's office has handed the case to the Harris County DA's office. A grand jury will now investigate. Live in Northeast Harris County, Sion Rhodes, KPRC Channel 2 News.